secure the Capitol ahead of next Wednesday's inauguration of the president-elect Joe Biden. As many as 20,000 armed National Guard troops have been activated and are being deployed to Washington, some of whom have been seen, as you see here, resting on the floors of Congress. Where are the commanders of our troops in D.C.? Why don't these troops have chairs, beds, cots, bedding, shelter, provisions? This is an outrage, outrageous scene, and the generals, without explanation, have been derelict in the care of those troops, and this is not a picture that we should have to see in this country, nor an experience that these troops should have to undergo. Fox News correspondent Rich Edson is live now outside the Capitol and has details. Rich. Hey, good evening, Lou. And uh, it is a markedly different Capitol one week later. Much of the Capitol now surrounded by layers and layers of fencing. This is seven foot tall fencing that's been installed now over the past uh, six or seven days or so, ever since the riot from last week, and it has gone in layer and layer around the Capitol building. Uh, and here we are about a couple of hundred yards away from the Capitol building itself. Uh, people have been strolling around through the day. People have been uh, uh, walking throughout the Capitol. But in order to get really anywhere near the Capitol building, you have got to have uh, a Capitol pass. We're about as close as you can get. I mean, I guess you can also... Uh, get your card out with some music going on here, which is just the kind of the vibe that we've had here in Washington, D.C. throughout the day. Uh, you mentioned the National Guard members. Uh, we're expecting, according to the Pentagon now, that there will be some 20,000 National Guard members in Washington, D.C. surrounding the inauguration. It was supposed to be 15,000. They've now upped that to 20,000. So you've got National Guard members here. You've got members of the Capitol Hill Police Department, all of whom who have been called back and are now here to protect the Capitol building over the next few days. A number of other federal police departments are here. U.S. Secret Service is here uh, working on protection because now, according to the Department of Homeland Security, this is now the extended period that the Capitol is getting ready for the inauguration, but that also includes a number of other items. Uh, we're also hearing from defense officials that those members of the National Guard, they're also told to be on the lookout for potential IEDs over the next several days. And it's not just the Capitol building here that you're seeing the extra protection. You're also seeing that throughout the city, different checkpoints, number of major buildings uh, have this type of fencing throughout. So a uh, much different feel, heavy, heavy, heavy security here, and also, in a sense, somewhat restricted motion around the nation's capital. Lou, back to you. A sad sight, but a reassuring sight. Uh, it, it, is, uh, it, it is a terrible moment in, in American history that we are witnessing the necessity of our troops in the nation's capital. Rich Edson, thank you very much. Rich Edson reporting from Washington. Up next.